Hello YouTube and happy 4th of July. You might hear some fireworks going on in the background and I wanted to join in on that with uh, my own personal brand of fireworks, uh, which is not explosive or anything, but I think you'll still enjoy it. Um, this video, I'm just gonna be burning some methanol. So methanol I bought from uh, the hardware store. It's this heat, the blue one. They, they make a red one too, which is isoheat and that's isopropanol, rubbing alcohol. That's not gonna work. We want the blue one. So this is methanol. It's an antifreeze for your car. Um, now burning methanol by itself just produces a very pale blue flame, which is not very interesting. So I want to spice things up a little bit uh, by adding some boric acid, which is this uh, roach killer that I, I also bought from the hardware store. Um, boric acid uh, mixed into the methanol. And uh, since that's already been done several times before, I wanted to spice it up even more by bringing in a couple different salts. Uh, and we're going to sprinkle in uh, these three salts, three chlorides, strontium chloride, sodium chloride, and potassium chloride, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, now this is an entire bottle of antifreeze. Uh, you can see the liquid sloshing around in there, and I've already mixed in a good amount of the boric acid to color it. Uh, so this should be a real nice, uh, beautiful color when we burn it. And I didn't measure anything this time around. Uh, with colorants, you just kind of sprinkle a little bit in and uh, it imparts the color to it. You don't want to add too much of the colorant because then it'll interfere with the, uh, the burning of the fuel. So let's get, take this outside and get it all set up. Okay, we're outside now. I got it uh, set up in a uh, sidewalk in front of my house. And uh, I'm going to pour this uh, bottle of antifreeze with the boric acid mixed into it, uh, into this tray here. It's an old cookie sheet. Well, this is gonna be a lot. <laughs> and uh, now I, I'll take my, my different salts that I have and just kind of sprinkle some in there around and uh, no particular order. And didn't quite add all of it. There we go. <laughs> all right, everything's set up. Uh, let's light her up. Happy Fourth of July. You can see it's the boric acid that gives it that really beautiful. Uh, green color. It actually reacts with the methanol to make trimethyl borate, uh, which imparts that green flame. And uh, uh, green is the, the color of boron salts when they're burned um, in, the, in the flame test. And uh, you can see we're getting some orange. Uh, that's probably from the sodium. Uh, sodium is more of a yellow color. They call it yellow. It, it looks orange until you see calcium, which is more of a really orange. Um, it could also possibly be some of that burnt on uh, organic stuff, uh, which is why I don't use this for cooking anymore. Yeah, we're getting lots of color now. So flame tests, uh, like I mentioned, are used to identify elements. So if you don't know what a particular compound is, you can burn it and the color that it imparts to a flame tells you something about it. So as I said, the green is the color of boron. Uh, this yellow orange is the color of sodium. Um, and I also put uh, potassium and strontium in there as well. So we should get uh, purple for the potassium and red for the strontium. But uh, we'll see. Sodium tends to overwhelm the colors of other flames. So we'll see what it ends up looking like. Plus there's all this carbon char, which I think is what's really giving it the orange, unfortunately. I'm starting to see some red. There's a little bit of red in the, uh, the right-hand side there. The lilac color for potassium is very easily overwhelmed by other colors too, so that may be difficult to see. Although I do actually see some on the right side in the front here. 
It's very faint. You kind of have to know what you're looking for. You know, they actually sell a uh, product for uh, camping in the camping supply section for uh, coloring flames. It's basically a mixture of different metal salts that you sprinkle onto your campfire and it, it gives you an effect kind of like this. So you could try this if you can find that product. All right, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching.